Hi, my name is Kumal. I am the CEO and co-founder of Lab4U. At Lab4U, we are democratizing science by developing technologies to use smartphones and tablets as science instrument. You see, tablets and smartphones have many built-in sensors, such as GPS, accelerometer and camera, that are normally used for games and navigation, but not for science or education. So at Lab4U, and today we're going to tell you how we tested our first MVPs in order to validate the educational need for students and teachers. So everything started with a problem that we faced and that our region faces because 88% of the schools in Latin America lack science labs. So trying to solve this problem and tackling this problem, we came up with Lab4U. So what we do is we take advantage of the built-in mobile sensors that are in the mobile devices to develop science experiments. So what we first did is we searched at the Google developer site at Android and searched for the APIs to look at the sensors and mobile devices. We studied the sensors, structured the data, and looked for an open source library that could help us visualize this data. And that way we could show the teachers and students what the sensors of the devices were doing. So we first started with a basic MVP that could show the sensors of the phone in, in our app. So this was a very basic app that only showed the sensors. So we ran pilots, but before running the pilots, we had to prepare many things. How are we going to run those pilots? What are the me metrics that we want to validate? What are the questions that we want to answer? Does the school have Wi-Fi or does not? Do the students have tablets or not? So before running the pilots, we had to prepare all those things and then run the pilots with our MVP. So when we went to the schools, we recorded every single thing the student was performing. Every single thing the teacher was doing, we recorded everything. We took notes about everything. Our first pilot was a disaster. It was just the sensors of the phone. The students were, they were quite interested, but they didn't know how to use them. So we improved our MVP. We launched another MVP that you could visualize the sensors, but we also added a step-by-step -step guide that could help the students experiment. And in our following pilot, voila, it was much better and we could see an academic improvement in the concepts that we were teaching with the sensors of the phone. The pilots were vital. The pilot's results were good because we saw how the academic performance of the students improved thanks to our programs and app. And in that way, we were able to fundraise, we were able to create awareness and understand the real problem that we're solving. So the best thing we can do to validate our MVP is get out of the building or your co-work or office and validate your MVP in the schools or wherever you're trying to validate. What next? Now that you have your MVP validated, you see the educational impact your technology has, and what you do next is you start with the production of your software so that your software is scalable to as many schools as possible. And that is what we're doing right now. We're developing our last bits of the product so that we can scale it to more than 5,000 schools here in Chile. And that's what it is exciting about this. We're happy to democratize science so that everyone can have a lab in their pockets.